I use the MetaQuest headsets and 360 videos and a class I was teaching for largely advanced students on reentry. So the point of the class was for students to learn some of the really individual but also societal level factors that complicate reentry for people that are coming out of prison. So we looked at things like severe mental illness, substance use and substance use disorder, um, but also some prison technologies like solitary confinement and how that might make it harder for somebody to successfully rejoin the community after they had been to prison. When it came to these assignments, I really wanted students to learn how to think more critically about some policies that we know from the research have really deleterious effects, but we also take them for granted as necessary evils meant to make prisons more secure. I think that solitary confinement in particular is an experience that has been sanitized. If we just read the research or we look at popular representations, people might think of a really bare bones cell, a place where people are put if there are security hazards, but they might not consider the long term ramifications and the trauma of solitary confinement, particularly for somebody who's coming out of prison. Something else I really wanted students to take away from this assignment was ethical thinking as future criminal justice professionals. The students in this class would be soon themselves going into the workforce as law enforcement, correctional officers, or social service workers. The 360 videos, particularly when viewed in the headsets, they really let you in on the full multi-sensory experience of solitary confinement, something that you can't get just from the written page. Um, just in general, I think prisons and solitary in particular are really hidden worlds, so this let us pull back the veil in a way that students otherwise wouldn't be able to experience. For these assignments, I had students complete uh, short reflections after each video, and they did so in a pre-post-test format. So I would ask them, what did you know about, say, solitary confinement before you watched the video, and what are your perceptions afterward? And this is really where I saw some of the unique gains from this particular assignment compared to just reading a book or watching a more traditional documentary, say, on solitary confinement. Students really talked about how being inside a solitary cell, it allows them to experience the nothingness, the despair, um, just the isolation that otherwise they wouldn't have gotten from reading an article or watching a video. I think also what was unique about this project um, is the effective emotional experience of being inside a solitary cell. Students talked about the full range of emotions that they experienced when participating in these activities. Um, they talked about being scared, um, feeling isolated, feeling despair. A lot of students would also reflect upon their own struggles with mental illness and how this resonated with the experiences of some of these prisoners who are experiencing solitary confinement and leaving prison. And while I really don't know much about the effects of this kind of technology on the brain, I'm not a neuroscientist, um, it seems as if the emotional aspect of this assignment really allowed it to imprint itself on students' learning. Um, they came away talking about how this was an experience that could never be replicated within a more traditional classroom assignment. I absolutely could not have done this project without the help of Media Commons. Um, I definitely call myself a tech novice, and in this first attempt to use the MetaQuest headsets and 360 video, I think I was really just dipping a toe in the water of immersive experiences. Um, in the future, I have more advanced assignments I would love to try, but this was a great way to really experience this technology for the first time. Um, when I started, I myself had never put on a VR headset, and that allowed me to experience the training firsthand alongside the students. When I first applied for this pilot, um, Nick, our TLT expert, came in and helped me identify an initial set of videos that I could use in my class, uh, videos that were relevant to re-entry, um, including some ideas I hadn't thought about before. Um, afterward, he helped me put them into a playlist that was really easy to access for students, especially those who had never themselves used the MetaQuest headsets before. TLT also helped us write some of our reflections and put us in touch with some of the research surrounding the efficacy of VR headsets and how they could be used effectively in the classroom. 
So one of the great things about this assignment for me is that by assigning student reflections, we also got some data on how they use the headsets and what they wanted to do with them in the future. Um, moving forward, I definitely consider continuous access um, a possible barrier to students who want to use this technology but might find it hard to come to campus or get to the library and between working or taking care of their families. Um, in the future, I would love to use these headsets more in a classroom context so I could be there with the students to experience these videos simultaneously, um, but also to help them iron out any trouble that they're experiencing. Something I really want to do in the future as well is make some of these experiences more interactive. Um, when it came to experiencing something like solitary confinement, um, the immersive static experience itself might have been enough. Um, but students also wondered if it could be possible to mimic some of the challenges of re-entry that were being faced by individuals who were leaving solitary and leaving prison. They wanted to know if future experiences could put them in the everyday situations they would face as newly re-entering individuals. Challenges like getting a job, reuniting with family member and friends, um, and entering school after a long absence.